Hey everyone! Welcome back to my channel. My name is Michelle and I do five star book reviews. And today we are talking about the newest Danielle Steele book called The Numbers Game. And I couldn't wait to read this and I am so happy I did because let's just face it, we all need a Danielle Steele book in our life right now. We need to be living in a Danielle Steele book right now because everything in a Danielle Steele book doesn't always start out fantastic, but it always ends up perfect. And that's what we love about her. And this one is no different than any other book she has written. If you want to say it's typical Danielle Steele, go ahead, because I love that. People say that as a criticism of her. I think it's the most awesome thing about her. So up on your screen, 288 pages. It's women's fiction and course because they all are well no I shouldn't say that because she has written some historical fiction but I'm gonna give you my top five reasons why you need this book right now I'm gonna do that so up on your screen number one because nobody writes a story like Danielle I could have been put in any one of these characters and it resonated with my life that's what I love about her especially about her current books because I'm finding that as she's been writing and I've kind of grown up with her books that I keep fitting into her characters <laughs> and I'm not even kidding I I can fit right in no matter what their age is really she is amazing and I'm seeing that my eyes and like the Sun is going down but it's still like I'm getting a glare so I apologize whatever I can't help it because I wanted to do this right away because you know I like to I like to do them right away so here we are okay her characters like she these are multi level characters I mean the numbers game I you know when you read a book and you're like how does this title fit this one is tricky and I'm not gonna tell you how but I, I want to hear what you have to say Tell me how you think the title of this book fits into the story because I have my own theory about it, but I want to hear what your theories are. I really do because I'm not sure. I don't know. It, I kept going back and forth like the numbers game, the numbers game. What does she mean? But I do have a theory. My number two reason is one of the main characters is I, she has a couple of them. I find her to be like the number one. Her name is Eileen. And we start the book out with Eileen finding out that her husband, okay. <laughs> Whenever you read a Danielle Steele book, her first chapter is like reading 10 chapters of any other author. I kid you not. What she says in her first chapters, any other author, it would take 10 chapters, it would take a third of a book. She brings you the story and you're, you're like placed right into the middle of a story. That's that's how I feel. So much happens in that first chapter, but one of the things, and so this is not a spoiler, okay, is that Eileen finds out that her husband is cheating on her. And I'm 55 and I've been in that situation. So right away, I'm like, I fit right in with her. I knew how she was feeling, but I felt like Danielle gave me words to put into my feelings that I never really thought about before. And trust me, this was a long time ago. This was my first marriage. I was in my 20s. We were really young. She gave, I was like, wow, I, that is how I felt. I'm, I'm so happy that I've heard it tell me how I felt about it because that is really what happens. And then, so it brings me to her next character. Okay, number three, Paul. So he is the cheater. You don't want to like him at all. You really don't. But by the end of the book, you have a little bit of sympathy for him. Little bit. He does know how to screw up his life. By the end, you're like, okay, I, I kind of, I'll give him something. All right, that's all I can say. What I loved about him is how she wrote him. Because we got to see what, even if you don't like it, you get a little bit of perspective on him. And it was awesome. So, you know, I, I loved him. But number four is Olivia. She is the mistress. I loved her because the way Danielle wrote her, it was a tricky situation because you don't want to like her, especially if you're me. If you're someone who's been cheated on, you don't want to like the woman who was cheating on your with your husband on you. You want to hate her. But I didn't hate her. I ended up loving her. That's what's so awesome about Danielle. And then the number five reason, number one reason, whatever you want to say, is Danielle. Because I thought, and I might have said this in one of my other videos about her, I came to a point in my life where I thought I had outgrown Danielle Steele. 
And you may be thinking that. You may be like, I've read it, it's over. But I'm telling you, her stories get richer and richer as she grows up and as we grow up. And you learn to really appreciate it. And I'm telling you that in a day like today, when we really need to escape all that outside noise that is trying to depress us so much, and it's trying, and, and it works, it works for me. Sometimes I am really depressed. And I found myself this week, like I would get in this book and I would be there in the book even if it was for half an hour. And I did have a hard time concentrating this week because I want to be watching the news and I want good news, but good news was hard to find. Good news from outside of social media. Social media, you will find good news, but the news where you're looking for somebody to be like, it's going to be okay, it's really hard. So this book took me to a place where I could escape. And I found myself at night reading before I went to bed, which I don't always do, but I did. And I was looking forward to that time. And I could have read this book faster. Her books are only 288 pages. And you will see every single one of her books is 288 pages. So I could have just skimmed right through it. But I really enjoyed being in this book. So there you go. That's why I'm giving it five stars. That's why I'm giving you the review. And um, yeah, it's a typical Danielle Steele book. Thank God. Thank God I can say I just read a typical Danielle Steele book. So everybody, comments below. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you're reading right now. I already know my next book starting it tonight. So we'll see. I, I'm not reading as fast. I'm not. I, I thought I'd be like, oh, I have all this time. I'm just going to read, 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 read. I'm not doing that. And you probably aren't either. As a matter of fact, I've seen some of you online saying you're not doing that. So just enjoy it. Don't think that we have to be accomplishing things during this time. Give yourself a break, read a good book, get into it, and it doesn't have to be a race. So everyone stay healthy, stay inside, and until my next